How's my hair? Good. Okay. So, I'm going to talk about shoes today. Okay. The shoe is a a natural element introduced to us, and in the evolution of humans, it first began in the colder region to protect us from the cold weather. In the warmer re warmer region, it used to for uh, it was used for protecting from sharp rocks. Okay. Asian Egyptians and Chinese. Um, wear shoe as early as 5,000 years ago it was well documented and but 5,000 years is very short considering how long we've been here okay what is also very interesting is that on the murals of the Sumerian okay the Sumerian gods and then Anunnaki's they build all these gigantic megaliths weighing thousands of tons, uh, which nobody, no scientist knows how to do them, okay? On the murals, they did not wear shoe. They were bare feet, but they had some kind of biomechanical, almost like a bomb, some type of gear on their leg that attached the foot. But they were bare feet. I can clearly see their toes. Now check the links uh, on, on the bottom of my video to to uh, to take a look and, and see, see see from your own eyes and tell me what you think. Um, so anyway, the other day, um, my two years old, right? He wears sandals. We live in New York, so it's it's right now it's warm, but it's gonna get cold soon. I freaked out, okay? I freaked out. The reason for that is um, he overpronated while he was standing. He's only two years old. He started doing this. Parents, parents, okay? Especially the parents with kids who play sports. This is the number one sign. This is the number one sign that bad, of bad things to come, meaning injuries. The reason for that is, from my extensive research, overpronation, over, sorry, blah, blah, overpronation is not natural. Okay, this is because the shoe is not natural. So how can you perform naturally while wearing the shoe? You know, that's that's the biggest and a multi-dollar question, multi-million dollar question. We did not born with the shoe. Um, by letting, by adding a little bit of platform and softness on the bottom of the feet, changes the whole perception. Okay, um, it relaxes the foot, and actually, if you don't understand how the foot is supposed to morph, this is the beginning of many many sports injuries to come. So parents, be very very afraid of the shoe. Um, what else I was going to say? Um, that's, that's it. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about regarding the state of the foot, check my link. Uh, check my videos. There's a lot of information there. My research is very, very new. You know, I, I went to orthopedic doctors who are my friends. Uh, and also sports medicine doctors when they look at my video they don't know what it is they don't they don't understand it they they understand the term windlass mechanism but they don't know how I'm able to do it without raising the toe and that's the multi million dollar secret but uh you know little by little I'm trying to let the information out but you have to understand the whole picture. Until next time, Chong is out.